Yes. I'm just going to talk about you as we're going oh, up for the Bahrain Grand Prix. How are you doing? Very good, yeah. Yeah, good. Here we go. Just going off the debrief now. And... Yeah, see how we go. Yeah. It's, Look, uh... Looking good in free practice, I thought. Yeah, no, we're actually pretty good, yeah. Um, yeah, let's see how... The race is everything Susie these days. We can be good in practice and quality, yeah. but the race, it's so open still at the moment. So, yeah, but, but we're quietly confident we can be competitive. While you're here, can I just be really cheeky? Because mm. it seems to me like silly season's just kicked off extraordinarily early. I'm walking to the brief and then I'm getting nailed with a full-on interview. <laughs> well, you shouldn't come and cuddle me. Um, so, this Porsche malarkey, yeah. uh, confirm or deny for us, if you would? Uh, yeah, it's understandable that uh, I'm getting a little bit long in the tooth, apparently, in lots of people's eyes. But uh, So there's different rumours floating around, and I think that... Um, yeah, people put, certainly putting two and two together and getting uh, a bit more than they than they should do. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to you know just enjoying the season as I have done other years. I was touch and go three or four years ago to stop. So uh, you know as long as you're enjoying it and you're competitive and uh, you know you can get the work, which is not really a big issue for me at the moment. Um, things are going well. Do you want to stay in this paddock? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, I think that um, you know I, like, I still enjoy driving the cars. Uh, the tyres have made it a little bit more challenging in terms of how our job as a driver has, has probably changed a bit, let's say, in the Grand Prix for sure. Um, the camaraderie, I would, sorry, the camaraderie is massive. That's, that's, that's a big factor as well in this sport in terms of boys on the floor are always good. Um, this stuff, yeah, you know, you get a bit long in the tooth of that as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, as you get older, you get less tolerant of other aspects of the job obviously but you're still ultimately the drug is still very powerful towards what drove you very hard to get to that position in the first place which is driving the car all right you better go to your briefing thank you yes, very much thanks. that's that's messed up my link as well but never mind i was going to tell you that it was just four short years ago that red bull took their first ever win in china and since then since 2010 they've dominated by taking all six world titles. It's, a, it's really an incredible story. Um, wasn't great in China for you by your own Olympic standards. What can we expect here in Bahrain? I think it's going to be very close here. I mean, what we've seen today in practice is that, uh, you know, the Ferraris, the Lotus, um, the Mercedes all look competitive as well. So I think it's going to be very tight and uh, it's going to be a fascinating contest. Do you think that your car will suit this track better than it suited China? I've got no idea, to be honest with you. <laughs> it seems to move around with these tyres so much that uh, we had a pretty decent day today. And, uh, you know, traditionally this circuit has been, been reasonable for us. And, um, you know, both drivers seem reasonably happy with the yeah. balance of their car, but um, there's still a long way to go. Of course, there is all that talk about tyres as well. From your point of view, you know, have you gone to Pirelli and Aston to change the tyre? We haven't asked them specifically to change the tyre, but I think that, uh, you know, they know what our concerns are, as I'm sure they speak to other teams and other engineers. And I think that, you know, the tyre, sometimes the softer tyre is just that bit too marginal. And I think what we want to see is the drivers pushing the car to the limit and pushing the tyre to the limit. And rather than driving at 65, 70 percent for large percentages of the race. Now, it produces good racing, um, but I think that we also need to make sure that we're pushing and, and, and testing the drivers as well. There's obviously been a very busy few weeks for you guys. We, we've all talked about it. Um, oh, have you? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. We, did, we mentioned it in passing. It's silly season. I just talked to Mark about the rumour about Porsche. And rather than just report rumour, I'd rather ask you the question directly. Um, it's, it's now the talk about Kimi coming to Red Bull next <laughs> year. What, yeah. what are your feelings? What are your thoughts about that rumour? I mean, we're at the fourth Grand Prix, and we've already got one of the drivers leaving and Kimi Raikkonen coming, so it just shows in Formula One that, you know, the rumour mills start, start early, but, you know, look, this...